Sunday evening, Master Duel fans. Uh, we got us another classic throwdown matchup for you guys. So first things first, extravagance and four back row, which could be literally anything. So let's see what's up. Spirit Charmers, ditching the Awakening Reaper, grabbing Asa, setting Awakening Spell, and then Witchcrafter Scroll being placed out. Now, now if you never see Witchcrafter Scroll, uh, normally it's for Witchcrafters, of course, but in this particular uh, version of the deck, it's Charmers. So again, the gimmick is once per turn, when your spell cast a monster kills a monster by battle, draw one card. And draw one card is pretty, pretty good. So basically in this context, uh, if the opponent does not get rid of this card in conjunction with the Awakening spell, we're basically gonna get so much pluses turn after turn after turn and so on. Get the scroll going, get the Awakening spell going, get the Grand Spirit Art going. No Spin Alsa, Special Ren Ryu. Ren Ryu make the attack. And it turns out, Charmers versus Eldritch. This should be an interesting matchup. Opponent activates Conquistador. No sight of Gold Boy yet. So Ren Ryu attacks Conquistador. Also with a direct attack, Wakero triggers. No Gold Boy in sight. Also over Wakero. Scroll triggers. Drew into Lightning Storm. But you know, we got too many face up cards, so. Now, in this context, when the Eldritch player enter battle phase, its suspicion uh, maneuvers made me think he has an evenly match somewhere in one of the two face downs. But the thing is, my big brain is telling me he has an evenly in his hand. So, who knows where this is going to go. Curse L land triggers. Pay 8. Get the Guacero. Yep, gold boy in hand, apparently. Tossing out the Wakero, and then the field spell keeps the gold boy in check. Now, as for the Grand Spiritual Art, Asa is on board, spellcaster 15 defense. It makes it so that negate your opponent's first monster effect that resolves each turn while you control a spellcaster with 1500 defense. So, descending a car I control to the graveyard keeps that in check, which is really, really good. Sets one, and wouldn't you know, big brain is right, evenly in hand this whole time. So Gold Boy gets rid of evenly and summons him out at a whopping 3,500. Now, the star attraction of the Eldritch Core. His ability is you can send this card along with one spell trap from your hand to your graveyard, then target one card anywhere on the field. Send, not destroy, but send it straight to the graveyard, does not target, which is insane. And on top of that, which of course, as you already saw, based on his other ability, if this card is sent in your graveyard, you can send one spell trap you control to the graveyard, add it to the hand, then you can special one zombie monster, does it gotta be gold boy, from your hand. And if you do, until the end of the turn, or the opponent's turn, it gains a thousand attack and defense, and it cannot be killed by effects. Each effect once. And once again, at a whopping 35. Banish Wakero, said Scarlet. Banish Conquistador, sets down Black Awakening. June to Spirit Charmers. Ditched Ranryu, because we already got one on board. Area in hand. Partnership set, and Area is going to do the work all by herself. Summon the Area, give it to Osa for the power boost, and wouldn't you know, summon limit. No one summons more than two times per turn. And then obviously, uh, the animals are part of the uh, extending, but at the same time, Due to summon limit, we're basically going to control the board at this rate, so this is going to be fun. Conquistador triggers the end phase, kill the awakening spell. Land, get the gold boy once again. Gold boy, 
sending Solemn Judgment, which is crucial. Field Spell keeps the Eldritch in check. Partnerships. Revive Alsa. Kill Go Boy. Go Boy sending Kunk to the grave. And Go Boy comes back. Scarlet. For that same Gold Boy. Gold Boy hits over Artemis. Well, we tried to get Lina to do some work, but not gonna happen this duel. And then Gold Boy over Alsa. While Carol Banish said Scarlet. Conquistador. White Destiny. So basically, at this point, we basically got full knowledge on the Eldritch. Now, to find the alternative move. Partnership Spanish. Bring back the Awakening spell. Special the Nefarious. Hit the 2500 Eldritch. Scroll. Drew into Reborn, which is pretty good. Activate Scarlet. For the Gold Boy. Pay 8 gets the Conquistador. Sends the summon limit. Now, at this point, since the gold boy from Graveyard was trying to special by sending the summon limit, this basically means that by the time my turn comes up, we're pretty much gonna go all in if we really needed to. But that is unless uh, if your opponent has Gustav in their extra deck. We'll see where this lands. Number 35, Ravenous Tarantula. And just to go for the record, before showing this replay footage, I did check with the Eldritch player's extra deck. Turns out, no Gustav Max in the extra deck. So this made me think, if the opponent has Gustav Max, then Juggernaut on top of Gustav, the game would have been over. So, nope, turns out, no Gustav in extra deck. So instead, Ravenous Tarantula is the way to go for the Eldritch guy. So if you never saw Ra Ravenous Tarantula before, here's how the card works. All monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the difference between your life points and your opponents. While it has material, each time your opponent special summons a monster or monsters more than one, burn your opponent for six. And on top of that, detach one, destroy all face up monsters your opponent controls with less attack than or equal to this card. So it turns out, not as much life points difference with the uh, likes of 700. So, Golden Land Forever. Now, this is the mistaken crucial part to the Eldritch player. The fact that he overlaid the two gold boys into Tarantula and sets Golden Land Forever. So that means Golden Land Forever is basically dead at the moment, unless I come up with something late game set up on the next draw, but who knows where this leads to. And wouldn't you know it, Luck sacked into Harpy's Feather Duster. And we saved Raigeki this whole time. So basically that means this is basically pretty much game over on this spot. Kaori, you are a great Eldritch player, but I'm sorry it has to come down to this. Feather Duster being played out. Elixir of White Destiny to revive Gold Boy. Curse at Lin, sending Wakero. Raggeki to board. And wouldn't you like to know, Area and the two animals kept things going. That is game, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of this fantastic matchup? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Catch you guys next time.